Now, the question is, how dangerous is religion really? Uh, if you listen to Geert Wilders, the populist in Holland, uh, Islam is a lethal danger, uh, and Europe is going to end up as Eurabia, and we're all going to end up being Islamized. Now, how dangerous is it? Um, obviously, uh, if you think of it from the point of view of uh, liberal democracy, any, uh, for any usurpa usurpation of secular authority by religious authority is indeed uh, a danger. Uh, theocracy and democracy are not compatible. Uh, you cannot have one source of absolute truth. Um, but theocratic revolutions, although they exist, as we know, are actually relatively rare. If we exclude um, secular religions, uh, and I'm not talking now about Stalinism and Maoism, which were religious revolutions of a kind, but, but pure, but real theocracies. Uh, it happened in Iran, uh, and it happened under the Taliban, but it's, it's, it's not a common phenomenon. And even in Iran, uh, it clearly, uh, it's running into all kinds of problems, and uh, the clerics are divided. And actually, uh, Khomeini, the Ayatollah, uh, was behaved in a way that even many Shiites find objectionable. The idea of the Ayatollah becoming a kind of uh, dicta political dictator in the way he did uh, is not part of the Shiite uh, tradition. Uh, and it is, as I said, um, rather rare. Now, religious-inspired violence, um, political um, uh, extremism, uh, terrorism in the name of religion, clearly is a danger, and, and it has caused uh, great problems. And although I don't expect um, Islamic or any other religious revolutions in, in Europe, um, a relatively small number of people um, who commit acts of uh, political violence uh, can severely disrupt uh, liberal democratic society, not destroy it necessarily, but warp it, uh, often because the reaction can be disproportionate, it makes people fearful, it disrupts um, public services, it, uh, it, it's, it, it, it can cause a great deal of harm. And we've seen uh, quite a lot of it in recent years. Not only um, Islamic, or Islamist, to distinguish it from the political variety from the religion. Um, but in Japan, for example, um, after, the, after World War II, there's been a proliferation of so-called new religions, most of them entirely benign, um, but some of them not. Uh, the Aum Shinrikyo, uh, a kind of uh, quasi-Buddhist, quasi-Hindu uh, outfit uh, run by a half-blind guru with um, long hair called Asa, um, Asahara, um, what was his name, As Asahara in any case, um, put uh, sarin gas, poison gas, in the Tokyo subway system uh, in the hope of bringing down what they saw as the empty, materialistic, um, spiritless society of, of, of Japan, um, after which an apocalypse would come and the Aung Shinrikyo would um, start heaven on earth. Mm -hmm.